guys, I am back and today I'm going to be sharing with all of you my June favorites. It's going to be a year since I filmed my last favorites video. I think the last one I did was in July of 2013. But I thought since I'm going to try to get back into the full swing of making videos at a consistent rate and getting them uploaded almost every two to three days, that maybe I should get back on the bandwagon and start sharing with all of you my favorites again. This month definitely was the month of me experimenting way more than I ever have with makeup. I am always very scared to try new things and being back at home and like hanging around my sister and getting a little influence from her makeup application process, I've really just grown if that makes any sense. So I have it sectioned off into face products, eye products, and lip products. So I'm just gonna stop talking because I seem to do a lot of that and I'm just gonna jump right into it. So as I mentioned in my summer must-haves, I have not really been wearing a lot of liquid foundation because here in Chicago it's kind of hot. Like the weather here changes constantly but it's getting to the point where it's getting a little unbearable to be outside. So I stopped wearing liquid foundation I think a month ago more so around the time when I came back from school just because I didn't want my skin getting used to it since I'm always on and off with makeup but I have been really into the NYX stay matte but not flat and I don't know why this powder has always just been sitting in my makeup drawer but now when I open my drawer I always go for this powder first just because it works so well it provides such flawless coverage and you wouldn't expect it to cover I guess you could say acne or scarring it covers it so well it's definitely something you can apply more than one layer to so I really like the finish of it and it really is an HD sort of fix because your face looks like it's been airbrushed and it looks like you're wearing liquid foundation when you're not so definitely check this out now I don't completely shun out the idea of liquid foundation but since I said it is summer I haven't been wearing my thicker coverage so I started using the Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup and I kind of put this off into the corner of my makeup collection because I was like ah, I'm not not really into it I don't feel like using it and I love it I've been wearing it almost every other day I've kind of been as I said going more for the powder I at least wear this once a week and I really love the coverage it provides it makes my skin feel super smooth I feel like it covers well enough and it has SPF so I know I'm being protected so I really like that so definitely check this out too because it's amazing as I said, I'm addicted to cheek products, so this is something that I recently discovered. Well, my mom actually discovered it, but I have been hooked ever since I bought it. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection, and I thought they got rid of this, but they didn't. They brought it back at my Target, and it is in the color Rose Golden Goddess, and let me tell you, this reminds me of MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Naturals, or just mineralized skin finishes. Look at how amazing that color is. I actually have that on my cheeks right now, I don't know if it's kind of washed out because I have some lighting going on, but this powder is so freaking amazing. I love it. It is the perfect, it's the perfect summer shade. I plan on making a video on how to use this because you can use this as a cheek bronzer, um, well, a blush, a bronzer, and some eyeshadow. So. Stay tuned for that, but I love this. I've been really addicted to this. As for eye products, I don't really put much on my eyes, but I've been really addicted into making my lashes look super good. So I use these three mascaras. I'm not saying everyone has to use these three, but this will literally give you the best mascara application. And it is the CoverGirl Lash Blast, which is YouTube's holy grail of mascara. The CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara, which is one of the newer ones, just comes in a tube like this. I use the Mega Plush Volume Express by Maybelline, and this really does set the mascara. It sets the whole tone of your eyes, and I really love how it just flares everything out a bit more. So definitely check those out if you are into mascara. I wear mascara every single day, and I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow, but I always put on this wet and wild brulee color and it's just a little single shadow but this is the perfect shade to just neutralize your lids it gets rid of the little veins going on up there I figured that it just gives you a smooth surface to work with and regardless if I'm just wearing this or if I'm gonna just put a thin liner on top or if I am going for a whole smoky eye this always ends up on my eyelids somehow so I thought why not just include it in my favorites for lip products, I have nothing more to say than I have been heavily influenced 
by the Jenner sisters, Kendall and Kylie Jenner. They were getting a lot of attention in the media like the past two months for their makeup and how flawless they've been looking. Everyone was talking about how Kendall Jenner's eyes are fabulous and then how Kylie Jenner's lips are huge. So I was really into their lip colors. They've been kind of going more for the nude mauve ordeal. I don't know what else to say about it. So I took it into my own hands and I found lipsticks that sort of match what they're going for. And one I actually already had in my collection, it's the Revlon Mauve. But this shade is always on my lips. I have it on right now. This is kind of like my go-to lipstick, but I've been really trying to use these two. And it is the NYX Round Lipsticks in Lala and Minimalism. And they are just, again, mauve tones. The Lala color is more purpley, but I am so addicted with how it makes my lips look. But using these lipsticks really does help give it that extra oomph and it makes my lips look like, it just makes it appear as if I had lips because I, I really don't have the biggest lips. So I really love this. If I'm ever out, I am always wearing at least one of these shades. These are, as I said, my go-to lipsticks. So I definitely recommend this for anyone who's looking for the same type of shade or somewhat similar to what the Jenner sisters have been wearing. But that's all I have to say about that. So that's really all I have for my makeup products. I know it wasn't that fun and that special, but I mean, I'm getting back into the swing of doing the favorites videos. I also like to include in these favorites things that I've been really enjoying, whether it being things in my life, TV shows, movies, music. I always mention at least one of those categories, but today I'm going to go through all of them. So for TV shows, I recently just binge watched the whole season of Laguna Beach. I am so addicted to watching that show and The Hills and the city. I watch those shows consecutively and I always watch them each summer. It's like a summer ritual for me. I don't know why, but I've been doing it for the past three or four years now. And it's really weird how addicting they are. As for TV shows, as for music, I've been really into Coldplay's new album. I am obsessed with Coldplay. I know every single one of their songs. And I just love how they keep the same sound and how they just never fail at what they do. Like, their music never ceases to amaze me. I really love their lyrics, and I actually share the same birthday as the lead singer, so fun fact! Another album or another artist that I'm really into is Iggy Azalea. I've kind of been with her for the past two to three years now. My sister introduced her to me, but I am very impressed as to how far she's come. She's kind of dominating the charts right now, but I cannot wait to see her at Lollapalooza. I'm so excited. I feel like the older I get, the more I can connect to lyrics and what they actually mean instead of just listening to it and being like, ho, 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 ho. I don't understand the concept of music like that, but I really do appreciate her lyrics. And I cannot forget to include my queen, Selena. I love Selena, not Selena Gomez, Selena Quintanilla, like the original Selena. I have my mom to thank for that because she did such an amazing job at introducing her to me and my sisters. Her music is kind of like the music that never just goes out of style. It's always there. You're always hearing it. It still plays on the radio. I have her albums all on my iTunes and I'm constantly watching her videos. And that I can say is also one of my favorite movies, the Selena movie. My friends are quite annoyed with me. By now I've been super addicted. I think my addiction sparks like around Christmas break time because I always knew about her but I didn't really know that much until I took it into my own hands and watched every concert possible. So I mean, no shame. I love Selena. Selena forever! So I mean, that's really all I have to mention. Movies? I... Oh wow, movies. I watched Maleficent. I finally saw Maleficent in theaters and I can say that I am so impressed. I am so happy they chose Angelina Jolie. Like, she did such an amazing job and I can't say anything bad about that movie because they knew what they were doing. I love how how they just completely changed the whole storyline and it ended up being such a positive uplifting like you overcome your battles and you become basically new again and you learn to feel emotions you lose throughout life and I feel like everyone goes through that basically you get hurt by a loved one and then you go through like a really bitter phase you get super angry and then you come back from it and you come back like stomping all over everyone. You're just like, I'm fierce, I know I'm doing well. So definitely see Maleficent if you haven't. That's gonna be a DVD that I'm going to have to buy. I feel like I've pretty much touched base with everything that I wanted to mention. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, 
Ew, there's a bug! Okay, I just had the nastiest experience, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any questions about, I, I'm sorry, if you have any questions about any of the products or things I talked about in this video, leave them in the comments below and let me know what your guys' favorites were for June. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys! Oh my god. Oh, it flies. Oh my god, it flies. Hold on.